Rechi Mahjong is a four-player game played with 136 tiles, two dice, and preferably an auto table. If you already know the basic rules of Mahjong, you can follow the timestamps to watch Rechi specific rules. But we recommend watching from the beginning to familiarize yourself with all of the terminology. The objective of the game is to build a winning hand, which might look something like this. But what exactly does that mean? Like with the deck of cards, there are multiple suits in Mahjong. The Pingzu, or balls, Sozu, or sticks, and Manzu, or characters. Each suit runs from one to nine. The one here is represented by the bird in this suit. And there are four identical copies of each tile. The ones and nines are called terminals, while the twos through eights are called simples. The remaining 28 tiles, called honor tiles, fall into two categories, the winds and the dragons. Some tiles can be hard to distinguish at first, so you might want to have a reference sheet handy. With these tiles, we want to create sets, which can be done in two different ways. Three identical tiles form a triplet, and a continuous run of three tiles form a sequence. Note that this 891 stick would not be a sequence. To make a winning hand, you would need four sets of three and a pair. Going back to our winning hand, we can see that we have exactly one, two, three, four sets of three, and our pair. Now that we know the objective of the game, let's start playing. Every player's hand starts with 13 tiles, and the players take turns drawing a tile from the wall and then discarding a tile from their hand. Remember that the objective of the game is to make four sets of three and a pair. Here, we are completing a four, five, six ball set. While most turns can happen like this, sometimes you can use other players' discards to complete your sets, otherwise known as calling. If you have a pair and another player tosses a copy of that pair, you can call pong. Take the tile from their discards and reveal the completed set. Once you have called, the revealed set can no longer be changed and must be used in your winning hand. Similarly, you can complete a sequence by calling Chi. However, you can only call Chi if the player before you discards the tile you need to complete your sequence, whereas you could have called Pong from any other player. Note that in the case where two players want to call the same tile, Pong has priority over Chi. It is important to note that calling can potentially skip a player's turn. Calling gives your hand an extra tile, which replaces the need to draw. This means you only need the discard. Finally, you are allowed to have a set of four identical tiles, which is called a con. You can treat a con the same as a set of three identical tiles. After you con, it is still your turn, but you must draw a tile from the opposite end of the wall. This is called a rinchan. An extra Dora tile will be flipped during a con. Dora will be explained later on in this video. Let's look at cons in more detail. There are three different ways to con. If you already have three tiles in your hand and someone discards the fourth one, you can call con. If you have already declared pong and you draw the fourth tile, you can call con. If you already have three tiles and you draw the last one yourself, you can call con. This last one is called a closed con. If you have made any call at any time in the game, your hand is now considered open. If you have not made any calls, with the exception of a closed con, your hand is considered closed. This will be important later on. If you are one tile away from completing a winning hand, then you are in Tenpai. The tiles that can complete your hand are called your weights. For example, in this hand, our weights are 3 and 6 stick. If you are Tenpai and someone discards a tile that completes your hand, then you can declare Rong, or win. You can call Rong off of any player's discards. Similarly, if you are Tenpai and you draw the tile that completes your hand, you can declare Tsumo, or self-draw win. Once you declare Rong or Tsumo, you reveal your hand and gain points from other players based on the quality of the hand. Then all the tiles are shuffled and the walls are rebuilt and the process repeats. Now you might be wondering why we stopped drawing before the last 14 tiles. That is because these 14 tiles make up the dead wall. You may recall that after a con, you draw from the dead wall. Otherwise, the tiles in the dead wall are never drawn. If nobody wins throughout the entire duration of the hand, the hand will end regardless. This is called deck out, and players in Tenpai will gain points from players who are not in Tenpai. There are also certain conditions that end the hand immediately. 
These are called reshuffles, such as the four wins reshuffle. This is when every player throws out the same wind on their first discard. Next, we have the nine unique terminal reshuffle. This happens when a player's first draw results in nine unique terminals, or they start with nine unique terminals. Then we have the four reachies reshuffle. This is when all four players reachy. This will be explained later on in this video. And lastly, the four cons reshuffle. This is when there are four cons done by more than one player. Finally, if a player makes a mistake in the middle of a game, this is called a chombo. For instance, if you call wrong on a tile that does not complete your hand, that would be a chombo. After a penalty of points, another hand starts. In Richi Mahjong, there are certain hand combinations called yaku. These are worth a certain amount of points, or han. On top of completing your hand, you must have at least one yaku, or a one point minimum, in your hand to win. The simplest yaku is called Richi. If your hand is closed and in tenpai, you can choose to discard your next tile horizontally, like this and declare Ricci. This lets everyone else know that you are in Tenpai. If you win after you declare Ricci, your hand will have at least one Yaku, which is Ricci. Other Yaku examples are Tanyao, Yakuhai, and there are also a few Yaku with special criteria like seven pairs. There will be a more in-depth video on all of the Yaku you can get. You also might be wondering why there is a tile that is flipped face up in the dead wall. This is called a Dora indicator. Dora indicators indicate Dora tiles, which are tiles that are worth bonus points if you win a hand that uses them. A Richie Mahjong set often comes with red fives. These are also considered Dora tiles. However, while Dora do count as extra points, they do not count as Yaku. So to win, you would still need one base Yaku. For instance, Richie. Now that we have learned how a hand is played and won, let's talk about how a full game goes. A game of Richie Mahjong consists of an east round and a south round. Together, they are known as one hanchan. In each round, every player will take turns being the dealer. The dealer is assigned the east seat wind, and everyone else is assigned their respective seat wins as shown in this diagram. The dealer is the first player to take their turn. Being the dealer is significant because you win more points on your dealership. If you win a hand when you are the dealer, your dealership continues. This also adds a bonus counter, which keeps track of repeated rounds and the slight increase in the total value of the next winning hand. If someone else wins a hand, then you pass your dealership counterclockwise to the next player. Being Tenpai at deck out is important because you will retain your dealership if you are in Tenpai. And if you are not, you must pass your dealership. Reshuffles and Chambos do not affect dealership, but reshuffles will increase the bonus counter. After every player has taken turns being the dealer in the East round, the game moves on to the South round. The last South round is commonly referred to as All Last, and after it is completed, the game ends. Now that you know how to play a full game of Ricci, here are some additional rules that will strengthen your understanding of the game. In Ricci Mahjong, there is an important rule called Furiten. This rule prevents you from calling wrong on a tile that you have previously discarded. To be more specific, if you are waiting on a tile that you have discarded, you are in Furiten and cannot call wrong on any of your weights anymore. However, you are still allowed to self-draw even if you are in Furry 10. Every player starts with 25,000 points. Each hand is worth a certain amount of Han and Fu, with the calculation for Fu being more complicated. This is then translated to points using a conversion table, which experienced players will have memorized. And there you have it. Congratulations, you have now learned how to play Richie Mahjong.